Welcome to Brazil, one of the most biodiverse countries in the world. By far the largest and most populated country in South America. And on the southern border with Argentina, there is something quite spectacular, unlike any other place on Earth, Iguazu Falls. This mammoth group of 275 waterfalls became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984 and is the largest waterfall system on the planet. Let's have a closer look, shall we? As always, hit the like button and smash that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. After spending an amazing week in Rio de Janeiro, I flew south to the small border town nestled along the banks of the Piranha River on the eastern border of Paraguay and just across the northern border of Argentina. Directly after I landed, I joined a tour heading to see the Brazilian side of the waterfalls. In the morning, I was going to head across the border to Argentina to see the waterfalls from their side. Once inside the park, we were duly informed of the dangers of wildlife interaction. It's not so much to be concerned about the jaguar as it is this fellow, the Quachis. He looked cute and friendly on the outside, but I grew up around wildlife and I was smart enough to know to keep my distance. Spanning an impressive 2.7 kilometers across the border of Brazil and Argentina, these waterfalls are over 82 meters at its highest point, which is twice as high as Niagara Falls in Canada and its second closest rival is Victoria Falls in Africa.
As you can clearly see, this is an extraordinary sight to behold. A natural wonder that not only takes your breath away, but leaves you soaking wet just for daring to have a peek at these majestic falls. Of course, it was a bonus to see some of the natural wildlife in the area. There were many large fish swimming in the river. There were turtles, monkeys, and the numerous quachis roaming around. This place truly is amazing. However, I had one more item to check off my bucket list, and that was to see the most populated city in Brazil, the most populated in South America, the place where 12 million people call home Sao Paulo. And was I in for a surprise when I got there? Here's what happened. I had a quick flight over and had dinner at my hotel on the infamous Paulista Avenue. After a bite to eat, I went for a walk to check out the city. And a few blocks away, this is what I walked into. <laughs> no idea what was going on. My Spanish was okay, however my Portuguese sucked, so I never did find out at that time what was going on. It looked like a party, music was playing, so I hung out for a couple hours before heading back to my hotel. People were happy, people were very passionate, but by the looks of this guy, somebody was going to jail. <laughs> When I connected to the Wi-Fi back at the hotel, I searched to see what the event was all about. The first result I got was a warning to avoid the potential violent protest on Paulista Avenue. Apparently the former Brazilian president from 2003 to 2010, Luiz Lula da Silva, was convicted of corruption and money laundering and sentenced to prison. But he was released awaiting his appeal. He bowed his innocence and declared that he was going to run again for president in the national election later that year. Today, the jury denied his appeal and he was returned to prison. Fortunately, everything ended well, and I closed out the evening with a nice cold beer, and the next morning, I was headed back to Rio de Janeiro to celebrate my birthday. Thanks again for watching, everyone, and remember, wherever you are, wherever you go, go with the flow.